spirit. You've got to do something. He is killing us. We're going to handle this professionally. Well, he needs professional help, that's for sure. Okay. Look, if we're going to be taken seriously as a news organization, you cannot let our reporters behave like this. Oh, here he comes. Let me handle this, okay? Hi. Richard. Hi. Hey, Richard. How are you? <laughs> Boy, boss, you got a nice office here. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> right. The nicest one Richard, in the place. Richard, please sit down. Okay. okay. Okay, now Richard, as you know, KRTZ has been considered the number one news source in the city. Oh yeah, we got the best cars, the coolest helicopter. The numbers have been dropping lately. Yeah, since he was hired. Now, we just want to give you some constructive criticism. Let's just take a look at some of the work you've done in the past month. Okay. The school board is meeting in this building behind me right now. You know, the school board, mostly made up of pinheads and sexually repressed old prunes. That school board. <laughs> Now, okay, Richard, that turned into an editorial. What do you mean? You went from reporting the story to giving your feelings about the school board. Well, you're asking me not to feel? No. <laughs> what we're asking is... Well, because, is you know, that's part of what makes me who I am. It's my compassion. I mean, do you expect me just to stand there and rattle off a bunch of facts? Yeah, we do. Well... I'm sorry, my heart is so big. Oh. <laughs> we were told that once the camera was off, you flipped off a group of preschool children on the playground. <laughs> well, yeah, but those little brats flipped me off first. <laughs> no, they weren't flipping you off. They were learning how to count on their fingers. Well, they should be a little more careful what fingers they're counting with. <laughs> well, let's move on to the next clip. And that's it from here, Dan and Susan. The grieving parents say they will just try now to somehow move on with their lives. Reporting live... Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Want to be on TV? Say, back to you, Dan and Susan, from the scene of this senseless tragedy. Uh, back to you, Dan and Susan, from the scene of this senseless Susan. Tragedy. Senseless tragedy. <laughs> uh, uh, from the scene of this senseless tragedy. That's good. That's good. You did good. Are you an actor? No. Didn't you think she was good? <laughs> See, in my opinion, Richard, that went on a little too long. Well, it was a live thing, and pardon me, but I don't have any control over time, so... But seeing as the story was about a shooting, a good place to stop would have been when the story... at the ending of the story. You don't think that the girl added a more human element to the story? <laughs> A more human element about someone being shot? The girl was from the area, and I bet you she was pretty shook up about that shooting. Oh, yeah. That's uh, why she was laughing? Oh, okay. So first you want me to control time. Now you want me to control someone else's emotions. Please, make up your minds. Wasn't that the same woman who was yelling in our lobby? Yeah. Uh, she got kind of weird on me that night. I was, I was just horsing around. That's all I was doing. Let's look at the next clip. And this guy here is now on his 12th day of not eating, and he says he'll keep fasting until China... Hey, is that my sandwich? Give me my sandwich. It's about time. There's pickles on it. I specifically said no pickles. You give me pickles. You want my pickles? Here, eat my pickle. Have a pickle. <laughs> He's eating a pickle. He's eating a pickle. <laughs> Why did you decide to tease a starving man with food? I was trying to cheer him up. He, he looked kind of uptight and everything. That's because most of his normal body functions were shutting down due to lack of proper nutrition. Well, that's why I was trying to save him. Okay, let's uh, watch the next clip. 
And this woman is the champion cookie baker, and I'm going to talk to her in just a moment. But first, I want to send a message out to Larry Turner, who works downtown with my girlfriend. Hey, Turner, you put your hands on her one more time. I'm taking this microphone and sticking it where the moon don't shine. Excuse me, I thought you were interviewing me about my cookies. Put a sock in it, you old bag. I'm not through talking to Larry Turner. He's going to get this microphone. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I can anticipate your question here, and do not worry, I would never use the station's microphones for that purpose. I would, I would probably use an umbrella in that case. No, Richard, we were a little more concerned about the treatment of the woman. Well, it's not my girlfriend's fault. See, the guy is flirting with her down the at her... The elderly woman, Richard. Are you saying my girlfriend is old? The old woman in the story, you idiot! Well, what do we care about her? You're the ones who said we wanted to court younger viewers. Well, we don't want to lose our older viewers. Well, why didn't you say that before? See, that's the kind of information I need before I go out to do a report. You, you know what, Richard? We're going to give you a little break from live reporting. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, great. I do not get that. I'm doing the best work at this station. The other guys are so boring. Well, we're going to go in a little different direction. We're going to take you off the street for a while. Oh, I get it. I'm moving in the studio. You want me to do editorials? You will not be sorry. I know the first one I'm going to do. Personal ads. When I say no fat chicks, I mean no fat chicks. <laughs> no, Richard. I'll be right back. No, Richard.